Hi everyone, it's Becky here. So welcome to another new video on my YouTube channel. So again, Happy New Year from me and my kitty Dudu. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you two of my sketchbooks from uh, winter and spring 2023, which is last year. Okay, I'm gonna share with you my creative life adventures through these sketchbook pages. You're biting? Oh, okay. Okay, so this is the first sketchbook that I filled up in 2023. Started on November the 25th, 2022. Finished it on February the 8th, 2023. Took me about two and a half months to fill it up. Um, I think it has 60 pages. This is, this is from the Speedball Art Products Handbook watercolor journal and um, I think the weight of this paper is 90 pounds lightweight watercolor paper not super ideal for many layers of washes so if you want to do uh, watercolor paintings in more detail so I recommend 140 pound papers not 90 pounds like this so it was challenging for me to do uh, more layers of washes on on this paper but it was a but it's a good sketchbook um, this sketchbook contains a lot of cafe sketches uh, this one was done as Cafe Chateau back in Montreal. As I'm flipping through these pages, I see that I'm getting better at sketching people as well as rendering the details at cafes. I did this page was my uh, Sunday sketch class live on Zoom. Last sketch in Montreal. I went back to that uh, cat cafe to sketch a little bit more before taking my flight back to Vancouver the next day. And I was greeted with snow waking up the next day back to Vancouver. Okay, I think it was a colder winter last year in Vancouver. Cup of coffee in the afternoon and my mom's homemade pastry. The taste of home. And the sunset sky with a snowy cityscape outside my reading room window. The view outside my living room window full of snow. Sketching with my Sunday class live on Zoom. Crackers and pistachios. Cafe sketch after resting at home for about two days. I ventured out going back to Gastown. So when you're away from home for a pretty long time, for me it was, uh, I lived in, I stayed in Montreal for six months and came back after that. And um, hometown feels very different. When you come back from somewhere, another cafe sketch. Sketching with my Wednesday sketch class, live on Zoom of a snow globe, something festive. And then uh, sketching a new Westminster key of a tugboat and industrial landscape behind. Sketching with my Sunday class, live on Zoom, festive items. Another cafe sketch in Vancouver. More daily little snippets. And a demo for my Wednesday sketch class live on Zoom. Sketching at a favorite cafe, craft cafe. And almost a nighttime sketch um, close to a SkyTrain station. Cafe sketch at Take 5 in Sapperton, New Westminster. And the snowy view outside my living room window. So you could sketch the same window view in different kinds of compositions and with different separate matters. I think the last, the previous one I did is over here. Okay, slightly different. For this one, I included more of the uh, backyard area here and also my neighbor walking his dog, adding a sense of narrative. So you could sketch the same separate matter in different ways through composition. And both were like two different days. This one was more sunny. This one was an overcast, snowy day. More views outside my windows and wading through the snow. I still remember through uh, this visual memory. I waded through the snow to get to this neighborhood cafe just to get some fresh air after uh, stucking at home for days on winter solstice 2022. 
more food and drink sketches at my kitchen table. A little panorama cafe sketch. Oat Crow Coffee in New Westminster. I love these uh, mood swing light bulbs. Very playful. Sketching at Cottage Deli. This is actually a hidden deli uh, close to Waterfront in downtown Vancouver. It was pretty hard to find this cafe, but it has really high rating on Google Maps. Yeah, the, the environment is very, very nostalgic. It's kind of like going into a museum. The cafe is owned by two um, senior men. They have a lot of great range of sandwiches and soup. Um, yeah, my home sketches on the second last day of 2022, ending the year of 2022 at Honolulu Cafe um, in Vancouver, around the Carisdale area. Sometimes it's okay to not finishing a page, just leave it blank for things to breathe, to ponder a little bit. Okay, another cafe sketch. Uh, I think this is probably my first sketch, uh, first cafe sketch of 2023 at um, Old Crow Cafe. They changed their name to Mood Swing. More cafe sketches around town. Capturing the warm atmosphere with a lot of warm yellows, oranges, and reds on these cold and bleak winter days. More cafe sketches, demo for my Sunday class, and some more. I just, it's very hard to uh, sit out there um, on cold winter days and sketch for an hour or two or longer. So cafes are really convenient and relaxing places in, in winter for me to go to and get inspired. More cafe sketches and sketching some candy and the sky opening up in between the rain outside my window upstairs. Another cafe sketch. I just love this clock. It's a nice metaphor of time and the cafe's shelf with lots of books, games, their merchandise on display. I love their uh, caramel macchiato at Take 5 Cafe. Yeah, some more and class demo live on Zoom. Another cafe sketch. Seems like I'm eating a lot, right? But I'm also um, doing enough exercises by walking every day. So I'm not really gaining weight. No worries. Okay. More cafe sketches and at home snippets. More snow came in January uh, 2023. It was a colder winter last year. This year we haven't had any snow yet. More cafe sketches, happy people and baristas. Oh, this one here, another neighborhood Starbucks cafe sketch, class demo. Ooh, this one's a, there's a lot of details. So many people to draw and the buildings outside the Starbucks window. Yeah, sketching a Prado coffee, pretty close to Granville Island and a very quick 20 minute outdoor sketch on Granville Island it was very windy and it started to rain a little bit. Um, yeah, so I have to finish it up really fast in 20 minutes, the line and watercolors. And that's it, my flight ticket from Montreal back to Vancouver at a, a little artifact memory. That's it. Of my first sketchbook that I filled up in 2023. All right, so this is the second sketchbook that I filled up in 2023. As you can see, I started on February the 9th and filled it up on April the 4th. Okay, this one was done a little faster than compared to the previous one in less than two months. And this one is a different brand of sketchbook. It's the uh, Claire Fountaine brand. Uh, watercolor sketchbook in square format. So Claire Fountaine is the name of the brand and it's a watercolor sketchbook and they have these bookmark things for you to illustrate and share with your friends. 
It's the same size as my previous one. So these two sketchbooks, the size I believe is about eight and a half inches by eight and a half inches square. Okay, it's a fun format to work with. Um, okay, let's flip through for the first page. And I like to do something very simple. This is a really familiar view for myself. The view outside my reading room window. Wonderful sunset sky with fancy colors to start the sketchbook. So moving that around so you can see it better. And sunset sky on February the 10th. The days were getting longer. Yeah, I love longer days. So I'm able to um, you know sketch more during the day. This is a cup of coffee from A&W and just a really mundane box of tea from Tim Hortons. And the sketch on Granville Island on Tuesday, February the 14th. Is, it was Valentine's Day, yeah. Getting a German style hot dog with sauerkraut and a cup of uh, really tasty caramel macchiato at the food court on Granville Island, uh, public market. And the view outside the window. So I actually omitted um, some of these window frame bars. I just want a clean view without um, being obstructed by these window bars. So when I'm sketching everything, I do not include everything that's in, in front of me. So just feel free to use your artist license to omit some of the elements that you don't really like. For example, things obstructing your view. Okay, and at home sketches, urban sketching. This one was actually the view from Douglas Co College, okay, on the, on the fifth floor of a heritage corner building in New Westminster. My, my lunch and coffee. And at home sketches, doing a class demo for my Sunday class through Zoom. More uh, sunset skies observed from my windows at home. Cafe sketch in Richmond. So nothing is too boring to be sketched. For example, these ketchup packets from McDonald's. And uh, after a bleak day of rain and wind, it started to get sunny later in February. So I sketched this uh, beautiful, uh, refreshing sky outside my reading room window with a cup of coffee and my mom's homemade biscuits. Some more little food sketches, cafe sketch at um, somewhere in Chinatown in Vancouver. Yeah, their sandwich and coffee is really cute. Some more snowy views outside my windows. It actually snowed a lot last winter. I couldn't remember anything about the weather last year unless I look back at these pages of art journals. Wow, a lot of snow last year. Food and drinks on the bottom. Um, some sprouted beans. They're very nice for stir frying, the sprouted beans. Um, an Eden Cafe, somewhere in East Vancouver. A quick little brunch there and the sketch for about 40 minutes. At home sketches. And the Hideout Cafe is a really nice name. Great place to go on a rainy day or any day. They have very good lemon chicken wraps and coffee as well in New Westminster. Sketching early spring at Bear Creek Park in Surrey. So these tulips are sprouting from the snow, pushing up through the soil and the snow. It's a really lovely sight to capture and the uh, late winter foliage and the uh, glowing light behind the trees. Doing a class demo for my Sunday class in March. Uh, this is the Flying Whale Cafe at Waterfront in Vancouver. Outside the window, there's this gorgeous view of the mountains and the sea. Sketching at McDonald's, okay. There, there are opportunities everywhere for us to sketch. Things might be seemingly very boring and uninspiring. Once you start to lay down your ink lines and um, playing with watercolors, everything turns out to be very lively compared to what they seem in reality. 
sketching on ground level. Oh, actually, this is actually a class demo. The uh, the False Creek Water and the Barrage Bridge. The lovely view on Granville Island. And more at home sketches. Early spring at the beach. This is the Sunset Beach in Vancouver, English Bay. Really had fun drawing these rocks and the grass and the peaceful water. All these cargo ships in the distance. A peaceful day in the early spring at the beach. And the uh, last bit of snow on Grouse Mountain, a skiing village in North Vancouver. Class demo for my Sunday class live on Zoom. This is a really fun urban sketch um, at this little plaza in downtown New Westminster. This is the tallest tin soldier in the world. And there's actually something hidden in the chest of this, this tin soldier. Artifacts from about, about 100 years ago to be opened up uh, this year, I think. Can't wait to see what's in there. The artifacts from 100 years ago. The temperature starts, started to get warmer. So I ventured out more often and doing a bit more outdoor sketches. This is the little plaza by the quayside of New Westminster. They have this uh, world's tallest tin soldier in the middle of the little plaza and the kids' playgrounds. I captured two kids. Uh, of course, before I sketched my iced coffee and grilled cheese sandwich. A lot of simplifications to do for these buildings behind the tin soldier. And um, first day of spring, first or second day of spring, sketching at my neighborhood park, the boundary park. Uh, capturing a lot of these ducks happily swimming and dancing, feeding in the water. Uh, these houses in the distance. These neighbors are very lucky to have this view of the lake. Okay, and now uh, the days move into spring 2023. There are more sunny days in the spring. Rain season was coming close to an end around March. Okay, this one was done um, on the fifth floor of Douglas College in New Westminster. They have these, I, lo I love the three-dimensional views of these heritage buildings from the fifth level. Of course, my lunch and coffee first and the buildings after. More soothing sky, sunset skies in the spring. Sketching on West Ham Island. It was my first time there. Um, seeing a lot of cows grazing on the grass at this farm field. So I spent about 40 minutes drawing and painting this. It's much easier to draw and paint landscapes than um, cityscapes, clearly. Um, it was Easter, so I sketched the Easter bunny and some eggs with my Sunday class live on Zoom. The full moon rising outside the window a little bit after dark. Spring at Yaletown, sketching the uh, cherry blossoms and a bright sunny day to end the sketchbook. So that's it. My second sketchbook of 2023. So stay tuned for more um, sketchbook tours of my 2023 life. All right, so thank you so much for watching this sketchbook tour video. There will be uh, two more videos coming up of the uh, second and third, fourth and fifth. I think I filled up a sixth sketchbook in 2023. So there will be two or three more sketchbook tour videos coming up in the next two to four weeks, uh, depending on my schedule. So, so by flipping through the pages of these two sketchbooks from earlier last year, I'm seeing a lot of improvements uh, in my sketching skills, especially like sketching people, as well as the uh, three-dimensional structures of cafe interiors and buildings and the ways that I handle watercolors. So over the past two years, I've been, I feel like I'm much more prolific, productive, uh, and fulfilling as an artist. Um, thank you to, so much to all of my students. So I'll see you very soon in the next video of a, um, a sketching tutorial. So see you soon everyone!
Have a great day. Bye.